Hello, welcome back. Another episode of Bell Wright. It is day nine, early, early in the morning. Uh, we've got some stuff to do, obviously. Uh, we've we've done a lot of the beginner stuff. It's already almost day ten. If you saw followed my previous series, I would uh, do ten days at a time, just because there's so much to do here. So, uh, or so much to do and a lot of grinding it takes to do some of it. But either way, uh, yeah, the things we need to do, obviously, we need to get uh, quests done. That will get us some renown. That will also get us some trust. And we obviously need some trust for pad stow. Uh, the hoe and the shovel will be pretty easy. So will the rope, hide, and log. And I do want to get to that friendly status so we can get some more people. Getting some more people will also lead to getting more stuff done quicker, so on and so forth. I really wish I would have just gotten a couple more people from uh, Herndine. Uh, even with the debuff, I probably could have dealt with it. But that's okay, to be honest. Uh, I'm already in this position. Might as well do it. The other thing is, as you can see on here, the only thing that we really haven't researched besides the seed pouch... Uh, and may, I, I guess you could say the weapon rack is a building. It's really not a building. Uh, and the village hall are weapons and armor. And obviously I want to do the rugged shirt first just because I have quests that require it. Uh, and as you can see, it has, uh, you know, the type of armors it is uh, right below the, uh, the icon uh, towards the top of it. So that uh, Frontier's helmet is a heavy armor. Uh, the Rugged Coif is a medium armor. We even have a... I don't see a... Uh, do we have any that are not heavy or medium armor? <laughs> I don't think we do, but that doesn't matter. Either way, um, more icons for, uh, for armors and, and such. But we need, to, we need to get a lot of this researched or at least started need to research carpenter's hammer so we can actually build the village hall but the goal of this episode is to get to the village hall and actually at a minimum maybe get it started maybe not completely erected but started so that is the goal i am uh, not going to bore you with daily updates this time what i will do is if something major happens, I will uh, show you just to, so you can kind of keep track of, of what we're doing here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to montage it uh, together for you the the things that I do that uh, are significant. Maybe not every single quest, but you know when I'm making things for quests, you know maybe I can uh, uh, montage some of that for you. Same with uh, getting food pelts, maybe even getting uh, trophy items like the uh, stag antlers, whatnot. And uh, if I hire anyone, I will definitely montage that in. But yeah, that's going to be the goal. Let's, uh, let's do this.
needed to stop the uh, the funness for just one second because we have created an outpost here. Now, we haven't assigned anything yet, but this is going to be an outpost. We've got our uh, mining camp here. We've got a forage camp here, as you can see. We've got a stockpile here, the travel sign, and the place to live right here. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is because we got a decent uh, thing of River Reed. Oh, really? Right over his head. That's that seems to be my luck today. Uh, but uh, we've got a uh, we've got River Reed here, which will uh, help us in the short haul. But we've got Copper Rock, and uh, we definitely need to mine some copper. Uh, I can kind of do tin, maybe a little bit if I need to, but uh, we definitely need, definitely need copper. So what we are going to do now, for those that don't know how to do this, we are going to go to settlement. So first things first, this is housing tent number four. So we're going to go to settlement. We are going to go to buildings, housing tent number four. And what we are going to do is create a new outpost, and we will call this Copper River. I know I'm I'm stealing from my previous uh, series, but I really like the settlement name Copper River, and that's for Copper and River Reed. Bam! All right. So now what we need to do is this is stockpile number five. So we are also going to go to stockpile number five we are going to switch that to copper river this is mining camp number two and that should be foraging hut number camp number two all right good gonna do the same for those foraging camp number two switch to copper river mining camp number two switch to copper river all right and i am going to go ahead What do you mean requires worker? I just want to put a freaking pickaxe in here. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. All right, so we also need to assign some people. Um, apparently, I have two people that have fallen in battle somewhere. Where? All right, so I remember Ingrid, I believe. I remember Ingrid had fallen in the uh, raid, but I don't remember a second one falling. Does not matter. Uh, we want someone that has... Where... Where are your uh, attributes? Here we go. So he is stalwart. So he is full-on combat attributes, negative productivity. We've got nearsighted, but is a defender. So it looks arrow in the eye. Ouch. All right. Uh, Lubomir apparently is a prodigy. Uh, and he is destroying cooking. Uh, let's see. Weakling, defender, neurotic, productivity. So we are definitely going to keep her because of the productivity. She has no negative to productivity. Weakling stalwart. So stalwarts are the ones that we want to assign as guards because they have horrible productivity. So what I am going to do, even though, well, one-handed, so it doesn't matter, but we are going to assign The Copper River, and she's fallen in battle, so we'll make her a guard when we can. But we also don't want to assign uh, Hugo as well, because we don't need that low of a productivity. What I do want is someone that is decent at laborer, because they're going to be doing quite a bit of it. 
That's the Defender Neurotic. So productivity plus 50%. I think we're going to have her. Let's see. Do we have anyone with a higher laborer? No. All right. So I think it's between these two. And I think it's going to... Let's see. Oh, no. That's high strength. Both of these are high strength. Defender. Resilient. I think we're going to go ahead and go with this one because the 50%, if for some reason uh, they meet quotas, they'll probably just stop working. So we will assign Grace. Grace, you will be over here. So now I... Oh, I need... That already has a simple pickaxe. All right. Well, it already has a pickaxe. That's good. So now what we need to do is assign priorities. All right. Settlement. Let's go... Copper River. Buildings. Mining camps. So we don't need tin ore here, but we can do copper, and we're going to top up. And we're going to make this 25. That way uh, it's high enough that uh, when I have them transfer 20, they'll start with 5. They won't necessarily have to uh, spend all day getting it. They may have to, but they won't necessarily have to. And I'll do a top up of uh, 25 here as well, or 20, just because you might as well. So that's good. Now, foraging camp. The only thing I want foraged is river reef. And I'll, I'll, I'll put wood there as well, forage wood, I guess. Um, but we also want this to be 25. And we're going to move all 25. Uh, and we'll put this at 15 because it's just foraging. I don't want... Uh, actually, we'll put it at 10 because I don't want it to... Uh, I don't want this person to wander that far just to pick up wood. But yeah, we're doing good there. And... Uh, Stockpile. So the only things that we're really going to need is food rations. Uh, we shouldn't need really any resources other than copper ore and wood. Oh, river reed and wood. And stone. We're going to need stone. Uh, stone. Ah, here we go. Crude stone. There we go. So, that's fine. We don't need armors. We really don't need gear either. So, we'll go ahead and switch gear off. Uh, don't need weapons. But we will need tools. So, we will... Uh, working. Simple... Where's the simple? There's simple pickaxe. And that should actually do it. So we won't need ammo, we won't need quest items. Uh, do we? Are we really going to need others? It doesn't look like it. Nope. All right. So, uh, made. Now, uh, Let's see, is it uh, Helena that I need to assign as a guard? Let's see. Grace, you're delighted. Okay, then. Uh, I weak link, so no, it is Helena. And I'm sorry, Helena, you get to be a guard because I definitely need you to prevent this place from getting any kind of raid or at least for as long as possible um all right now the other thing is 
they need delivery. So they are gonna we're gonna go mushrooms. Uh I wanna say mushrooms and uh small. So mushroom uh smoked mushroom. Let's go ahead and one time no not one time let's go daily one two three we'll go three smoke mushroom we also need a secondary food let's see let's go meat uh it's probably gonna be smoked small piece of small piece of Cooked piece of smoked meat. Hmm. I'm gonna have to see what we have a majority of. Hold on. Already getting late. So let's. Oh, there we go. Alright, what do we have plenty? We have plenty of. Small piece of cooked meat, smoked mushroom. What else? I mean, do we have anything that we make? Oh, plenty of smoked, just smoked meat. All right, so we'll do, we'll just do smoked. Make it easy. All right, go back. Settlement. Piece of smoked meat. Oh, hold on go meat piece of smoked meat from your settlement daily one two three that should be good now we go to this and we get rid of that and we want river reed from copper river daily we want 25 and we want cop copper ore daily, and we want 20 of them if they have them. All right, so we should see that actually pop up here real quick. Let's see, ooh, we could also settlement. Let's go with pickaxe. No, not broken. Pickaxe, simple, or settlement, weekly, one. There we go. All right. So here in three in-game minutes, two minutes, one minute, let's see what the transfer. All right. So three smoked uh, mushrooms, three smoked meat were sent to Copper River. Three copper ore was sent to the settlement. So we know that it works. We have a settlement set up. That is really nice. And we got some lightning going on. But yeah, that is, uh, that is our first settlement set up. Or sorry, not first settlement, but that is our first uh, outpost set up. I don't know if I want to put another one up because I'm not sure. If I want to have a separate one just for tin or just for all of the different ores. But as you can see, looks like we got a, uh, a bandit. Is that a bandit? No, that's a... Just a regular guy walking through. Who are you? A brigand. Oh, okay. He's probably a tax collector. But yeah, as you can see, things are shaping up. We, uh, unfortunately, has the hope been made yet? Flax, yes. All right, so stuff has been planted. Good. Uh, things are shaping up. We uh, are already uh, putting a lot of these together. The, the village hall will probably do here real soon. But I wanted to get a few more of these taken care of, and I wanted to get weapons for everyone before we put together, or before we start the village hall. 
But yeah, uh, settlement, outpost, lots of quests done. As you can see, pretty much everything is done. Need to make some axes and short bows. But yeah, going good. Let's see what else we can get done. And let's see, we're on day 13, so let's see uh, how much longer it takes us to get to that town hall. All right, well, it is... I want to say first day of winter. Yeah, I think it started first day. We're day 16 right now. We don't have a lot left to uh, research. And as you can see, the village hall has already been researched. We, I don't think we have enough uh, straps for everything left. Well, we got 16. That may be enough. Uh, who knows? Uh, let's just go ahead and throw those in there. All right. So, um... We're doing, we're doing really well, actually, uh, with the research. We are almost done. There is only a few things left. Uh, and that's real nice because, uh, as you can see, we have the beginnings of the village hall here. Um, it's going to be a lot of stuff here. Oh, there you go. Um, thatch. That is going to be the big one because in order to make... Because you can... Rope's not too bad. Logs, copper nails, we can, I can make those. Uh, same, you can get 80 wooden, oh, wooden planks. That's going to be another big one, but uh, 90 wood and then a bunch of logs. Whoops. But uh, you make uh, thatch over here. Or sorry, straw over here. You make thatch over here. go so thatch requires five straw well straw requires one wheat so in order to make 20 thatch we need 100 wheat with all the straw that we would need to make so that's going to be a few trips to the uh the wheat fields but then you notice it needed wooden planks so we go over here to our uh, I forget exactly what it's called. Let's see. Pit saw. Here we go. Craft planks. So in order to craft a wooden plank, I need one log. But that, I believe, makes five wooden planks. So I am going to have to just literally spend a day just chopping down trees and making wooden planks. Because as you can see, it's going to take almost a minute just to make one. So, uh, yeah. going to... The, the village hall will, will take a little bit. But the nice thing about it is that it's already started. Uh, I have three carpenter's hammers, which means that uh, I can have two or three people working on that at one time. And, uh, yeah, it's th this is this is coming along nicely here real soon. As soon as I get the village hall uh, uh, made, I am going to put a fence uh around this path going all the way down and uh and have it uh come up here all the way across and then all the way into the field here uh, i'm not gonna need a whole lot of extra space because when we get to uh tier three when we want to make a tier three I, we don't want to make tier three base here we want to make it somewhere else uh some people like to do the uh, wheat fields or the field that's just beside it. Uh, you do have, uh, let's see, that's the big bandit encampment where, here we go. You have the brigands headquarters right here. And that's where reclamation parties are going to come from. So a lot of people like to put it close to or near there. And while that's fine, they, depending on what town they're going after, they could go a multitude of different directions. And so it's kind of a crapshoot, but at a minimum, you make a tier three base, like say right here, which is where I did it the last time. I think next time, maybe I'll take this place out and maybe make it down here or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look around. But if you make it right here, you can at a minimum mobilize an army pretty quickly to go after reclamation parties if they're not coming straight towards you. But you know, Different, uh, different story, different, uh, let, let's call it strategy, if you will. But, uh, yeah, we are, 
Literal day 16, we've almost got tier 2 rolling along here, and it looks like the basic Gambeson has been researched. Did it open up any more armor? Because if it didn't, then we are all armored out for research. Very nice. All right, let's just... Any of these particularly difficult? Not really. All right, well, let's do that then, and uh, we'll get the rest of those researched. Uh, I'm sorry this this video took so long to get out. I have been extremely busy recently with work uh, and a few things in my personal life popped up. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.